Hey guys and welcome back. What is happening to the Bitcoin price? Bitcoin went here absolutely ballistic and broke here resistance after resistance. So now obviously the question is how high will Bitcoin go? Will we see a rejection from here back to the downside or will we continue to trend higher here? That is definitely something that I want to cover today. So if you're new to the channel, please do me a favor smash up the like button, also subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so that you will never miss out on these important updates, guys. And now let's get here straight into the Bitcoin content. So here on the four hourly chart, um, I have shown you yesterday on the one hourly chart here, this uh, downwards trending broadening wedge here. And I have warned you, if we are not seeing here a convincing break above $40,000 that most likely we could see a fake out back all the way down to $36,000. But um, Bitcoin decided to go here uh, with the um, not so profitable, uh, profitable case and actually break here into higher levels and uh, fulfill the um, broadening downwards trending channel. So what we actually should expect from a downwards broadening uh, channel here in that case that we pump here to the upside so we have here massively pumped to the upside we actually exceeded the target already so if you can remember i had showed you how to measure the target here from top to bottom so and there you see um, the target was around forty thousand four hundred dollars uh, i think forty thousand four hundred sixty six when i showed it the last time um, so we are we are um, way above this already so Congratulations, guys, if we were able to catch this trade. I'm really, really happy for you guys. That's why uh, why I'm doing what I'm doing so that you can profit off my technical analysis that I do here absolutely for free, that you can uh, take advantage of this. I had actually called this also on my Twitter account earlier today. So if I go into my profile, um, so here, eight hours ago, I called this breakout. And then two hours later, we were already way, way higher when I um, were still... Uh, posting about this. So we were at $40,239 at that moment. So I hope that you were able to catch this either from yesterday's video or from uh, my Twitter post earlier today. So, but now um, the question is obviously, where will Bitcoin go here in the immediate short term? So if you remember, I had mentioned here multiple times that here, this line here is really, really crucial for the Bitcoin price to hold. Uh, when we get above this again, uh, because you can see here, we had here a uh, massive support resistance flip. So there was support. Then it was here again, support. Then we broke support here to the downside, it became resistance. Here again, support. Here again, resistance, support, resistance. And now we are again above this. So let's hope that it turns into support. And um, if that is the case, so if we see here four hourly uh, and a daily candle, closing and also let's say a free day is in a row closing above 44 uh, $41,700 then in my opinion this was here the low I don't believe that we will get lower than this anymore so uh, that was then uh, the the local low um, the local higher low actually compared to the other ones so and we will most likely not get lower than this so to the upside the next logical target here so for this i go actually to the one hourly chart there we see a little bit better um yeah so i i could imagine that we get here based on the one hourly chart if i draw here something like this so we have here now a small broadening uh rising wedge so um, a rising wedge normally breaks always down. The target would be here $40,800 approximately. Would be not that bad to drop back from there and then actually go up uh, because I want to have a look on stochastic RSI. So let's see what stochastic RSI is showing us. On the hourly chart, we are overextended here in this area. So uh, Bitcoin has to come down a little bit so that we can cool down here to find more momentum to go here back to the upside. So that's why I believe we could come down here and then actually go up. That would be actually pretty healthy also for Bitcoin because we would confirm then here this now again, a green block as support. And um, yeah, from there we can head higher. So then when we go to the daily chart, um, yeah, so another reason first before I go to the daily chart, another reason for this pump was obviously that we see now the first signs of the short squeeze that I was talking about based on the funding rates. 
So, and um, I had mentioned that a couple days, uh, even a week back ago, I think, that I was expecting a short squeeze. So, and I'm pretty sure we are just about to see this happening. If we break your $43,000, in my opinion, we will see this short squeeze all the way up to $45,000, $47,000 happening here. So, and um, yeah, that's definitely something that I'm looking out for right now. So if you're right now on the sidelines, it's not too late to get into this, but um, yeah, into Bitcoin right now. But remember what I said to you, uh, use then only low leverage and use a stop loss, maybe uh, around 5% from your, um, from your buy-in uh, zone away, just to make sure that you don't lose too much money if the trade turns on you. Otherwise, wait for a break about, uh, or a, um, yeah, let's say wait for a daily close above $41,700 and then you can jump in and trade this to the upside. You can do this either on Bybit or on Femex with the links here under my video here in the uh, pinned comment or here directly under the video. There you see uh, Bybit still $4,100 in free bonuses with my link here or on Femex $5,100 uh, with my link here. It takes only 15 seconds to register, deposit some money, start trading, uh, then uh, claim your bonus, trade with the bonus again, withdraw the profits that you have made with the bonus, rinse and repeat the whole process, guys. Really easy. So, and also, if you want to join my paid signals channel, you can also obviously do this. Just click this link. We're absolutely smashing it, obviously, because of this Bitcoin pump right now. Um, if you want to join my paid signals group, you can do this and get in touch with my staff there or join the free Telegram group absolutely for free. So now let's have a look here again on the uh, daily charts. So here we can clearly see the first indication of a double bottom. So here was the first bottom. Here's now the next bottom. The neckline is here at $42,787 approximately for a potential W pattern here. So I would not draw this actually higher um, for the time being. So uh, if we break this and we treat this as a W pattern, then the technical target of this is $51,000 approximately, $51,000, $51,100 50, $51, in that kind of range. So that is an insane target, So, uh, but uh, reachable right now. So especially if we close this daily candle above $41,700. So and you see here the Bitcoin price is still going higher and higher, $42,155. So it's still climbing. Also on the weekly chart, we can see that we got actually a bounce of here, this volume range that I was talking about the other day. So, and that's exactly what we want to see. We want to see that the Bitcoin price is holding here above $41,700 also on the weekly scale. And then we will see here further movement to the upside. So, and um, yeah, there you go for all the people that said, no, it's not going to happen. We're not complete this W pattern. Uh, we will in a bear market. Uh, Bitcoin is proving you wrong right now. So, and um, yeah, there you go. So then let's talk about Ethereum. So Ethereum is also right now um, trying to break here into higher levels, breaking out of this uh, red resistance area here on the four hourly chart. So, and uh, I'm basically just waiting at the price is moving here uh, above this. So we have actually hit now the technical target that I was talking about yesterday, the 0 0.382 level. So we have achieved that. So if you also were able to take this trade, congratulations guys, um, if you took here you now some profit, so um, the next trade is actually di directly waiting here. So if we can close um, above the 0 0.382, the next uh, potential target should be on the Fibonacci uh, retracement level, the $3,000 level. So, but let's wait what's happening today here on Bitcoin and Ethereum to, um, yeah, before we get here into too many trades. Also, I wanna show you Luna again. Just yesterday, guys, just yesterday, I showed you Luna um, the potential of that uh, bull flag that we had here with a, a breakout to the upside with the technical target here at uh, $112 approximately, I think it was. So you see, we are really close to this already. Uh, the price is up around 18%, um, I think, from where it broke out. Uh, yeah, it went actually up 19% from where it broke out. So that's obviously amazing. So yeah, the stochastic errors I is giving us another buy signal right now. If we close this daily candle as it is, so and then obviously we will continue to push here 
higher also on um, on Luna. So when we have a look on the total uh, market capitalization of the crypto market, so we have now broken again this downwards um, trend here that was lasting for quite a while. So the next resistance for the total market capitalization is around two trillion dollars at one point nine eight trillion dollars. Um, if we can close this daily candle also here on the total market capitalization, it would be also considered to be a double bottom pattern here. So, and uh, yeah, we have to wait for a daily close. Um, and that would be obviously bullish for most of all the altcoins that are out there. If we can close this uh, daily candle already above this downwards um, trending uh, resistance line here and flip this into support. And also here, this vertical line, if we can uh, uh, close, um, yeah, just break this level here in particular, uh, because then the technical target is all the way up here at $2.65 trillion, which is pretty close to the all-time high here at um, 3 trillion. So, and obviously um, most of the altcoins will see then a massive, massive skyrocket ship move to the upside and that's what we are here for so uh, definitely watch out for this so solana and uh, phantom also moved here a little bit already so here phantom also there you can see it um, I, I believe here in phantom if this daily candle is closing as it is right now that would be considered a morning star pattern a, a bullish reversal pattern then we will see also here um, further continuation to the upside on phantom Guys, uh, definitely check out now my interview. Um, stick here until the end. I did an interview with James today. So uh, I will blend this in now into this, this video. So definitely stick around for this. Yeah, today I have also a great interview, guys. I have here James, crypto guru, one of my close friends, also living in Dubai. He's also a YouTuber, early investor in a lot of projects. We actually co-invested in a lot of projects together last year. He has also his own project where I'm an advisor on. So I'm really happy to have you here, James. How are you doing? I'm doing amazing. Thanks for having me on the channel, Alex. Yes, great, great. I, I know that you were actually really, really lucky that you got out like the last minute before the war happened in Ukraine, right? Yeah, the Australian government gave us like a warning to get out. They were about to shut down the airports. Then three days later, the war broke out. I, did, I loved you. It's so sad because Kiev is amazing. I yes. want to stay, but yeah. Yes, yes. So for people that uh, that didn't know, so Jamie and, and me, we like to go a lot to, to Ukraine. So I actually have an apartment there. So and James recently also discovered uh, how beautiful it is there. So and also liked coming there. So and James, um, what, what do you think right now um, is happening in the market? Bitcoin is actually right now when I'm looking at it uh, at around $42,000. Yeah, actually over $2,000, oh, wow. uh, $42,300 right now. So it's going absolutely nice. crazy. Beautiful. I bought, it, I bought up a lot of it this morning in today's video. Um, yeah, like I, at, yesterday I was short. And then when I woke up in the morning, I saw the Biden announcement that they're not going to regulate. So I believe there was a press, early press release. And then on my video, I started buying up a lot of Bitcoin, a lot of the old coins, which is beautiful. I was buying it around 41000 which is good. I think the bottom is in for Bitcoin. Very, there's so much volume coming in. I was expecting that we have a lower load, maybe 29,000. Um, but with this Biden announcement, and there's so much pressure to push it down, and it's not heading down, I'm quite certain that we're in the bottom now for Bitcoin. There's just so much volume coming in. Countries moving, Russia moving its currency into Bitcoin, Ukrainians using Bitcoin to, to trade and buy and sell. So I think right now there's so much interest. People seeing all the countries just blocking it, like, the ruble lost half its value in a few days. Um, so people just seeing that their currency is now really understanding that the currencies are fake and controlled by governments and not real. And when people see this, they're going to just more and more be moving on to Bitcoin. So I think the bottom is in. So much money is going to flood in. And it's beautiful to start at least, maybe not never go all in, but to start adding into Bitcoin now, like laddering in. Dollar cost everything starting to buy up close to the bottom. Yeah, yeah, amazing. So uh, you can also share... Uh, your TA if you want, you know, so uh, guys, uh, James is also doing daily videos on his channel, you know, so definitely check his channel out, the link is down below, so um, he's doing daily um, TA on Bitcoin and also altcoins, so uh, you can definitely show us here something if you would like, yeah, and James is actually Beautiful. doing can you see my screen? Phone. Yes, so James is insane, he's yeah, do everything from my phone. iPhone, it, it, for me, it's just, I like being mobile and traveling, so it's just so much easier for me, 
Um, this is Bitcoin pattern over two years on the daily. And we had this bounce like exactly off this um, trend, in, uh, trend line that's been heading up, making higher highs. The main thing that I've been seeing with Bitcoin is when we've entered this kind of bottoming area since um, February, the end of January, February, what we're seeing here is insane volume, like so much volume here. And the volume is very important. I always say this volume predicts price. And you can see here, this is Bitcoin volume from October last year. It's now we're at all time high volume for Bitcoin. And this is what I'm very interested in. Volume means how much people are buying and selling Bitcoin. And right now it's just insane buying all time highs. So people are just seeing how powerful Bitcoin is. They're jumping into it. The indicator bots that I use, both firing buys on a double bottom, the stochastic heading up. I'm just seeing a lot of, and the main thing that I noticed, I talked about this in yesterday's video on, on my channel, is this indicator. It's, um, it's called a stochastic uh, squeeze mob. So I'm going to show the squeeze mob indicator. This one here. So this is a squeeze mob. And this is a very powerful indicator and very important. Because as you can see here, this is where it's showing the red, how far down we're heading. And you can see we're going red, we're going further down, further down, except for last week. This last week, we switched to gray. And the last time this happened, you can see here, was July 2021. When we went, when we bottomed out on Bitcoin at 29,000, we had this gray pattern that was forming on the squeeze mob, heading down, heading down. And then we switched to the gray weekly, which indicated the bottoms in before we started moving up on the squeeze mob and also moving up on the Bitcoin price from 29,000 all the way to 69,000. And again, last week, the squeeze mob on the weekly chart. So this is the main, the main trend. Switch to the gray, indicating that we're most likely at the bottom. And, um, and then this is the main indicator, especially with the volume. I think we have a lot of resistance here at the 45,000. If we can break through the 45,000, this is the main area of resistance. Once we're through there, if we can, if we can uh, form a support onto this, then we actually have the potential to go to all-time highs. The only danger is we don't want to get rejected off this 45,000, this blue line, and then head back down. So here is a very important moment where we're coming, but a lot of money is pumping into Bitcoin. And what I also noticed is lately when this Biden announcements and the war, and it was, there's so much potential for Bitcoin to be dropping. There was so much news. This Biden announcement that they're going to regulate crypto was very interesting because I was expecting that we'd have this big dump of this head and shoulders. Um, Alex also talked about this in his videos. I was expecting we have this big dump of head and shoulders, but we didn't actually have it. And that's surprising because we have this Biden announcement that the American government's going to regulate crypto and we should have had a big drop on the head and shoulders. Instead, we had a huge pump of this support with a lot of volume. So I, that's showing massive strength in Bitcoin. The big resistance next is this where we're sitting right now and then the 45,000. But it's beautiful because I bought, I think I started converting a lot of my um, holdings back into Bitcoin from US dollars. So made a lot of money today, which is beautiful. Yes, yes, same, same for me. Yes, so and maybe you can also give us a little outlook uh, what's happening with Magic Craft. So I know that the alpha a playable version is coming soon. Do you maybe have already a month that you can tell us when we can play it? Um, the, 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 the the MVP, I think, is going to be coming out in April. So maybe Easy. next month, potentially even next month, April, May. Um, some exciting stuff that we have at the moment we're exploding magic crop is exploding the twitter went from 25,000 subscribers last week now it's above 60,000 subscribers on the magic crop twitter so the, the twitter just doubled in subscribers the coin market cap we had around three uh 200,000 people on the coin market cap watch list we did a promotion with coin market cap we're going to airdrop around 5 million mcrt which is around $50,000 at the current price to 20,000 people when we announced that airdrop on coin market cap we got we went from um 200 000 followers on the watch list now we have five, over five million people watching on coin market cap five million and to put that in perspective bitcoin on coin market have, cap has 2.8 million people so when there's free money people are just like super interested mcrt is going to drop to 20,000 people but it just puts a lot of interest also the telegram went from i think we had 20,000 people on telegram to now more than 60,000 people inside a chat room telegram exciting developments that we have we've got a lot of stuff coming out we have um developers and designers from blizzard that made world of warcraft they're the ones that were actually working on world of warcraft we approached them and they're joining our team so we have World of Warcraft designers, World of Warcraft. Our goal is to make Magicraft the World of Warcraft of play-to-earn games. 
Um, we have our teams growing huge. We have more than 100 people, two studios working on them. Our maps are now designed and the world maps are designed. Um, the storyline is designed. We've got amazing 3D characters coming. The social networks are exploding. Our team's grown so well to more than, I think it's more than 100 people. With the studios also, we have hundreds with the studios. So just a lot of exciting stuff. And then this airdrop is coming. Um, but the main thing, our goal is, doesn't matter if it's bear or bull market, it's to build a play to earn game. The number, because I saw the reason you invested in Magic Craft as well is we saw the play to earn games that were out and they weren't really games. As a gamer, it's like, I want to build like an epic play to earn that makes mainstream, crypto mainstream for game. So a lot of exciting stuff. And the team is just absolutely amazing. The social networks, the main thing people like, when you have exploding social networks, the whole thing I've realized when it comes to cryptocurrencies, when it comes to tokens, and when it comes to play to own games, it's the community. If you have a very big community, that's what makes projects succeed. When they have huge communities like Ethereum, like Bitcoin, an MCRT community, Magicraft community is just growing exponentially. So that's that's something to be really excited about. Yes, yes, uh, absolutely. And I think uh, because I knew people that have worked for Blizzard for World of Warcraft, um, so if that's still still up to date, so they're actually living in France, right? Um, the, so be, be, I'm not sure. The, um, the, the, the headquarter. So because I met German people in France, in Paris, while, while I was living there, and they were living there already for over 10 years, you know, and working for Blizzard on World of Warcraft. And I was so shocked that they did not speak French, you know, by living there already 10 years, you know, and uh, the headquarter is in Versailles. Uh, for World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. So, and they said, yeah, the office language is English. So we are all the time at the office. If we're not in the office, we meet with people from the office so we don't speak French. You know, and that, it blew my mind that they can live for over 10 years in a country and not speaking the language. Yeah, it's better to learn it, I guess. But for me, the same. I've traveled to so many countries. I've just stopped, I've stopped learning different languages. Before I would be like, okay, I'm living here. I'm going to learn. Like when I lived in China for a year and a half, when I lived in um, in Thailand, when I lived in, in Austria, like two years, Poland, two years, I just, at some point I was just like, okay, like enough English is good. I already speak three languages, but I'm like, okay, English is enough to communicate. I guess if you travel around a lot, you stop trying to learn different languages. Yes, yes, definitely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was amazing to have you on the channel, James. So guys, again, James Crypto Guru is his channel. You find the link down below. Definitely check his channel out. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you then soon again, either here in Bangkok or when I come back to Dubai. Yeah, I'm planning to be here. We've got a lot of conferences. So if anyone's in Dubai, Da Vinci is like throwing a lot of good conferences. So come join us at the conferences. Um, yeah, around two more months and then heading probably towards Thailand where it's not when Dubai gets too hot. Yes. Okay. Then see you then, James. Thank Thanks, you for Alex. being here. See you. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Talk to you soon. And that's already the end for the video today, guys. Thank, thank you so much for watching until the end and the interview that I just did with James Crypto Guru. You'll find the link to his channel in the pinned comment below. Definitely check his channel out. And um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and uh, subscribe also to my paid signals group if you want to make a lot of gains. And I will see you again tomorrow.